This could be the single most helpful feature we at Kittle have ever released. Today we're talking about the AI Remix feature, and this isn't really going to be a very long video. It's going to be very, very quick because the feature is mighty and powerful, but super, super easy to do. So I'm going to show you three use cases for this. Let's hop into a canvas and show you what it's all about. So I've got three very, very good use cases for the remix feature. So typically in the past, when you'd start a project and you wanted to edit an image with AI, uh, you'd have to use a smart board, right? So you, you'd come down here, you draw an artboard, right? And then you pull your, your image onto the artboard and then you click on the artboard and then you'd click add smart board. And this is not a bad process by all means. You're still gonna wanna use this process for some things like creating uh, different sets and images and things like that. It's very, very helpful workflow. But now with the remix feature, you do not even need to draw an artboard to put your element on to then create a smart board to edit it. Let me show you what I mean. So this is our first example right here, editing an image without a smart board. I can simply click this image and right down here in your little AI prompt box, we're gonna change from generate image, right? So that would be if we wanted to prompt something and have a new image generate, we're gonna switch it to remix image. And as you can see, our image right here has popped up. Uh, you can select multiple images. If you wanted to select five, 10 different images, they would all generate right here on your little dash. And so we're going to edit this image without ever needing to draw an artboard, add a, add a smart board, any of that. So I could say add silver, Y2K sunglasses to the man in this photo. And then I'm going to use Nano Banana for this, which we also have Nano Banana Pro and Pro 4K, which is wild. They all cost different credits, different tiers, depending upon what your needs are. But you can use any of the AI models that we have in here for Remix. And I'm just going to set my output to match input. So it'll be the same aspect ratio as the size of the photo that I'm referencing. And then we can just click generate. And then we'll have our generation pop up to the right of our image. And just like that, we have silver Y2K sunglasses added. It looks pretty accurate as if this guy is like in a studio. It's actually added a reflection to the glasses. It's not unrealistic. It's very, very realistic. So this completely eliminates the, the step of needing to add an artboard and then add a smart board and then have all of these artboards everywhere. When really, if you just need to generate an image, you can just generate the image and then be done with it. So that's our first use case right there, editing an image without a smart board. Another fantastic use case is making an element or a graphic in the same style as one you are referencing. So I've got this kind of chrome, uh, iridescent holographic star. You can actually look look at the prompt right here. This little lesser known feature actually generates a prompt on what would be best to prompt to generate what you have selected. So if you wanted to use that for something else, it gives you a very, very good prompt that you could copy because prompting can be difficult. So we've got our star right here selected. We're on remix, nano banana, generate an electric guitar, specifically a Telecaster, because that's the kind of electric guitar that I play in this same art style. And Nano Banana, I'm actually gonna use Nano Banana Pro for this one, match and generate. I'm interested to see what like angle vantage point it gives us for this generation. Pretty sick. I like that a lot. It's got the gold undertone, kind of the iridescent overtones. Let's see, it's got six strings, which is accurate. It looks like the pickup is in the middle position, which is gonna give you that nice little single coil sound. Very good choice, Nano Banana. I'm gonna remove the background from this. And now we've got a lovely kind of chrome gold iridescent guitar in the same style as this star right here. Now the last use case, which there are probably more, but the last one that I'm gonna highlight in this video is the merging of two photos or images, or you could even do this with elements, together into one. So you can do this with artboards. So if you wanted to draw two artboards and then you have your two images right here, you do generate a smart board and then you can drag this guy up. So if you want to see kind of like your flow 
flows, Kittle flows. Visually, this is the best way to do that. But if you don't want to, you know, deal with matching artboard sizes and all of that kind of thing, and you're really just wanting to generate something off the cuff really fast without having to deal with any boards or artboards, smart boards, you can just select two photos, boop, boop, and then in your prompt box right here, you click remix image, you've got your two photos right there, and then you can add your prompt, and then your third image will generate. So I could say, replace the woman and luggage bag in the first photo with the man in the second photo, add color to the man to match the color of the first photo without changing or altering the colors of the first image. And Nano Banana Pro, match output, and let's see what it gives us. And here is our generation. We've replaced the woman right here with this man and it's added color right here and i'm sure that you could change the colors of this if you wanted to with remix so we could come in here change the color of the leather if i can spell leather jacket to red and let's just go regular nana banana something light let's just do something light it's just awesome how accurate the colors are and there you go so we've changed the color of the jacket to red. So this makes art direction and trying different scenes and things super, super easy and fast. You don't even need to use art boards or smart boards to generate some stuff very, very quickly. And again, you can select images or you can upload images down here to remix your stuff. That is all for today's video. Hopefully this feature is super, super helpful for you. I'm going to be using this feature all night long and every day for the rest of my life, I think. If you're not already subscribed to the Kittle YouTube channel, please smash that subscribe button and leave a comment if you're going to find this feature to be useful. Also like this video because it helps us get the, the content out to more graphic designers and creatives just like you. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.